Welcome, fellow explorers, to Globe Guardians TV. We are not just travelers, we are stewards of the extraordinary. Join us as we embark on a journey to unravel the wonders of our planet. From the majestic peaks to the hidden corners, from the secrets of the past to the mysteries of the present, this is where exploration meets preservation and connections span the globe. I'm your guide in this adventure. Subscribe now and become a guardian of the globe. Have you ever wondered why butterflies are so diverse and colorful? This is largely due to their varied habitats. From lush meadows and woodland edges to vibrant gardens and tranquil marshes, butterflies can be found in a wide array of environments. These habitats not only provide the picturesque backdrop for these winged wonders, but they also offer the essential resources that butterflies need for survival. For instance, meadows are often abundant in nectar-rich flowers, which serve as a primary food source for adult butterflies. Woodland edges and gardens, on the other hand, offer an array of host plants for butterflies to lay their eggs on. These plants subsequently provide food for the emerging caterpillars. Marshes with their diverse plant life, serve as a haven for certain species of butterflies, providing both nectar and host plants. It's truly fascinating how each habitat plays a unique role in the butterfly's life cycle. It's amazing how butterflies have adapted to thrive in such varied environments, isn't it? Now, let's travel across the globe with these winged wonders. Butterflies, in their dazzling diversity, flutter in every corner of the world, save for the icy expanse of Antarctica. The species you'll encounter differ from region to region, a testament to the adaptability of these creatures. Whether it be the unique climates or the specific vegetation, each location offers a distinct butterfly population. From the lush, humid Amazon rainforest to the arid Sahara Desert, butterflies have truly conquered the world. Butterflies aren't just pretty to look at, their bodies are marvels of natural engineering. Let's take a closer look at their external structure first. Fascinatingly, a butterfly's wings are covered in thousands of tiny scales that give them their vibrant colors. The antennae, on the other hand, are sensory powerhouses, helping them detect smells and even sense the wind direction. The proboscis, a long, tube-like tongue, is a butterfly's primary tool for feeding, drawing nectar from flowers with ease. Now let's go beneath the surface to the internal structure. Butterflies have a simple yet efficient circulatory system. The heart pumps hemolymph, their equivalent of blood, throughout the body. Breathing is another fascinating process. They don't have lungs like us. Instead, they breathe through tiny tubes called spiracles, located on their abdomen. This incredible adaptation allows them to extract oxygen directly from the air. Their delicate appearance belies a complex internal system that allows them to survive and thrive. Did you know butterflies undergo one of the most dramatic transformations in the animal kingdom? Indeed, they do. But before we delve into their fascinating life cycle, let's talk about how butterflies are classified. Butterflies are primarily classified into three families, Nymphalidae, Lysenidae and Pieridae. Nymphalidae, also known as brush-footed butterflies, is the largest family, boasting a myriad of species. They're known for their vibrant colors and unique wing patterns. Then we have Lysinidae, or gossamer-winged butterflies. These are usually smaller in size, but don't let their size fool you. They present an array of stunning colors that can rival any in the butterfly kingdom. Lastly, we have Pieridae, commonly known as whites and sulfurs. These butterflies are mostly white, yellow or orange and are a common sight in many parts of the world. Now let's move to the captivating life cycle of butterflies. It all begins with a tiny egg, often laid on the underside of a leaf. The female butterfly carefully selects the plant on which to lay her eggs, ensuring it's a suitable food source for her offspring. Then comes the caterpillar or larva stage. Once the egg hatches, a small caterpillar emerges ready to eat and grow. And eat they do. Caterpillars are known for their voracious appetites, munching on leaves and growing rapidly. As the caterpillar reaches its full size, it enters the pupa or chrysalis stage. Here, it undergoes metamorphosis, a remarkable process where the caterpillar transforms into a butterfly. Encased in its chrysalis, the caterpillar breaks down its old body and begins to form a new one. 
Finally, the adult butterfly emerges. It's a delicate process as the butterfly slowly unfolds its wings and prepares for its first flight. Adult butterflies feed on nectar from flowers, contributing to pollination as they move from flower to flower, from a humble egg to a caterpillar, then a dormant pupa, and finally a beautiful butterfly. The life cycle of these creatures is nothing short of magical. Ever wondered what's on a butterfly's menu? Well, it's quite fascinating. Let's begin with the larvae or caterpillars. These little munchers are primarily herbivores feeding voraciously on leaves. They have strong, sharp jaws to help them chew up their leafy meals, fueling their rapid growth and development. But what about adult butterflies, you ask? Their dietary preferences take a sweet turn. Adults primarily feed on nectar, the sweet liquid produced by flowers. This sugary diet provides them with the energy they need to fly and reproduce. Now how do they eat, you wonder? Butterflies use a long straw-like structure called a proboscis to sip nectar from flowers. They unfurl this proboscis to reach deep into flowers, extracting the nectar like a natural straw. So there you have it, the feeding habits of butterflies from the leaf-chomping larvae to the nectar-sipping adults. Their diet is as colorful as they are, a testament to their unique adaptation and survival. With over 20,000 species, the world of butterflies is a kaleidoscope of colors and patterns. Each species is a unique marvel, differing in size, color and behavior. From the minute western pygmy blue, which is scarcely larger than a pencil tip, to the grand atlas moth, with a wingspan stretching up to 12 inches. Colors in this realm are not just for show. Each hue, each pattern tells a story of survival and adaptation. Some species, like the monarch butterfly, use their bright colors as a warning to predators. Others, like the owl butterfly, flaunt eye-like patterns on their wings to confuse potential threats. Then there are those that take mimicry to another level, emulating the colors and patterns of toxic species, a phenomenon known as Batesian mimicry. The viceroy butterfly, for instance, is often mistaken for the toxic monarch due to their strikingly similar appearance. And let's not forget about behavior. Some butterflies are solitary creatures while others migrate in groups of thousands, traveling vast distances for survival. This diverse world of butterflies is not a result of mere chance, but a testament to millions of years of evolution and adaptation. Each species is perfectly adapted to its environment and way of life, making the world of butterflies a fascinating study in biodiversity. The diversity of butterflies is a testament to the wonders of evolution and the beauty of our natural world. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey. But the adventure doesn't end here. Stay tuned for more discoveries, more stories and more ways to connect with the extraordinary. Follow us on social media for behind the scenes moments and real time updates. Remember every moment is a step towards a more informed, connected and awe inspiring world. Until next time, fellow guardians, keep exploring.